I'm just gonna say it. Google Keep is one of the most useful, underrated note-taking apps out there, which is why I've been using it for almost 11 years since its original launch in 2013. When it comes to note-taking apps, all I need is a clean interface, simple but powerful features, and seamless integration with other Google services, and at least for now, Google Keep is the best possible option I can think of. In fact, I don't think it gets enough credit, so in this video, let's do a quick deep dive as to why it's so great, share some hidden features, and talk about why this is surprisingly one of the best best services Google offers today. Before we do, I just wanted to let our channel members know that our 9 to 5 Google July 2024 wallpaper pack is officially out right now. If you're a channel member, which you should be around here, check out our community post where you can claim six of these Android themed mountain landscape style wallpapers as a way to say thank you. And if you're not a channel member, hit the join button down below to learn more as we have this pack available, plus a huge backlog from previous months as well. It's certainly worth taking a look if you like customization. And getting started, I wanted to talk about why Google Keep is so special since it's one of the last products from Google in what I would call their simple services era. To me, this spanned between the late 2000s and early 2010s, and during this time, we saw a lot of iconic launches like Google+, Plus, Google Wallet, and Google Play Music in 2011, followed by Google Drive in 2012, and the legendary Google Keep in 2013, plus many more. In my opinion, all these services were focused on being user-friendly and prioritized ease of use over unnecessary complexities, which is why Google Keep is such a gem in modern days. The interface is so clean, allowing you to easily access most functions within one tap. The deep access to other Google products like Docs, Chrome, Calendar, and more help optimize my workflow within the Google ecosystem, which we will talk about more in a minute. And it's highly accessible since it's completely free to the user with no in-app purchases or subscriptions needed and is available on iOS, Android, plus the web, so you can access it almost anywhere. These reasons alone have kept me coming back to the app and in fact has become an essential part of my daily life. The core functionality is probably one of the most important aspects that makes me think Keep is so underrated. As mentioned, the UI is a strong selling point with its minimalist card-based layout, making notes easy to identify, rearrange, and manage. Their search function is pretty powerful as you can find notes based on keywords words, titles, or specific labels, which is especially useful if you have hundreds of notes spanning multiple years. Cross-device sync is a game changer as someone that constantly rotates between various smartphones, tablets, PCs, and laptops for work, play, and in between. Plus, there is a ton of smaller features that all come together to make Google Keep this incredibly useful tool. Location-based reminders is a great feature where you'll be notified about a specific task or know when you enter a certain location. Great for running errands around town or just doing doing various chores. You can integrate images or audio recordings within your notes, which is helpful for storing receipts, reference images, or getting ideas down via spoken word. You can also share notes with your peers where multiple people can view or collaborate on a single note at the same time. There's labels for organizing your notes into certain categories, color coordination to make certain notes easily identifiable at a glance, and there's even a drawing feature where I like to sketch very terrible looking thumbnail ideas or use it as a disposable journal where I can write write my thoughts down and then delete them quickly afterward. Basically, Google Keep has a lot of the core functionalities locked down without any clutter or mess to make the experience seem overbloated. To my surprise, there's not even a strong AI presence within Google Keep either. In that regard, all we have is a Gemini-based help me create a list feature where you can enter a prompt to generate ideas for a list you're putting together. In practice, I find the help me create a list feature isn't meant to necessarily be the perfect end-all, be-all, predict everything you need, but more so to help make sure you have a solid foundation and don't forget the essentials. With that in mind, I use it often whenever I have a somewhat large packing list, especially when I'm traveling because I'm always forgetting something somehow, some way. And those are just the core features built into the app, but I love Google Keep because of how integrated it is into the Google ecosystem. As an Android slash Pixel user, I pretty much exclusively use Google services, so you can imagine it's nice to have my note-taking app be useful from almost anywhere. If you're using Google Chrome, there's an official made by Google extension that allows you to save web pages for later reference into Google Keep and can add additional notes when you come back to it later. 
If you use Google Docs, Slides, or Sheets, you can open a side panel to access your Keep Notes and easily copy details over. If you're using Google Calendar, you can create and attach Keep Notes to specific events, ensuring they're visible on both the calendar and within Google Keep itself. And here's a fun hidden gem that I didn't know about. You can use Google Assistant to take notes on your behalf using the Take a Note For Me command and then sharing your thoughts where the Assistant will automatically add them to Google Keep. Lastly, I think the efficiency, responsiveness, and performance performance is another reason why Google Keep is so great. Yes, of course, we have a simple interface and a heavy focus on the core functionality, but I find it to be very lightweight as a whole. In my experience, the cloud-based storage has never been an issue, even in times where cell service is bad, like in a grocery store, for example. I have always been able to load, edit, or access my notes, which tells me that the service doesn't take up too much bandwidth. And in times where I have no service at all, I can still access my notes offline and make changes accordingly accordingly, where they'll be synced to the cloud the next time I connect to data. All of these points come together to make Google Keep my number one note-taking app and make it a service that I actually enjoy using on a daily basis, and I guess it's worth giving some insight into how I use it. Personally, I love Google Keep for storing small but important bits of data like temporary passwords, grocery lists, Gemini prompts I find useful, or certain phrases that hit me some kind of way. As a full-time creative, I'm always taking note of video ideas or noteworthy aspects of an item I'm reviewing. If I see an interesting creative tool, I'll throw it in Google Keep for later research. If I have a thumbnail idea, I'll make a quick, terrible sketch so I don't forget. Basically, anything I need to have on a virtual sticky note, I put in Google Keep where I can reliably access it later. Not to mention, their home screen widgets are severely underrated. At this time, there's currently three widget options to choose from, one being a shortcut to quickly initiate a list, voice memo, drawing, or written note directly from the widget. The second one allows you to view a collection of notes, which is personally my favorite, and the third is the ability to pin a singular note to your homepage. Again, another small feature that makes it easier to interact with my notes at any given time. Don't get me wrong, Google Keep is not perfect and there's always room for improvement. Some would argue the app is oversimplified and doesn't have half of what the competing apps offer, like a more advanced search, PDF annotations, or deeper collaboration features but on the other hand, I think Keep is perfect for my limited use just the way it is, and honestly, I don't need it to be over bloated with features that are probably better suited for Google Docs anyways. At the end of the day, Google Keep is the perfect, short, sweet, to the point, simple, no-nonsense app that more people should be using or at least be aware of. I know this was a lot of information, but leave a comment and let me know if you learned something new in this video and start a discussion with your fellow Android enthusiasts down below. Do you use Google Keep? and if so, in what ways, or do you use a completely different note-taking app altogether? If so, tell us what it is and why you prefer it over Google Keep. In the meantime, my friends, I'm getting out of here, but before I do, huge shout out to our channel members on screen right now. To keep it simple, here at 9to5Google, we are working super hard to deliver the best Android content on the platform, and your support means a lot to us as we reach our goal of 300,000 subscribers and beyond. We greatly appreciate every single person joining us on this journey, and don't forget to grab your wallpaper pack for July, and if you're not a channel member but want to gain access, hit the join button down below to learn more. With that out of the way, thank you all so much for watching. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google, and I will see you in the next one.